And I think if you get into a negative level, you constantly negative, negative, you bring the negative energy. People don't want to be around you. People don't want to talk to you. People just like don't want to be near you. They don't. Welcome to a new episode of the Eva Eckert podcast. I am Eva Eckert. I am a host of the show. I am a Polish immigrant with a strong accent, as you can hear, kick as husband and two awesome kids. American entrepreneur sharing an incredible mission to inspire women and you around the world to take bold action towards their dreams, passions and desires so their life becomes more meaningful and fulfilled. I believe that the better superhero of your unique purpose is inside all of you, all of us, and we should share it with the world to make the world a better place. I hope that this episode will help you finally discover the power of self-belief, self-motivation, so you can stop making the excuses and create the life you truly desire and deserve to have by being the upgraded version of you guys. And guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm always excited to share with you the life's lessons, the mindset, the motivation, the things that we've discovered, the things that I've discovered myself, the things that I've discovered with my family. And I hope that you not only listen to this, that you actually taking action, that you actually taking something out of these episodes and you go and do it and change your life because that's what is the biggest thing for me when you get out of the episode because there is such an overwhelm with information nowadays that I see this that people some people constantly consume constantly do they think that they need to do this this and this before they start and 5 10 15 years pass by and they haven't done anything. So I am the one usually that I go for it and I start and I figure out along the way. Because if I would start thinking, I'm not there yet and I can't do it, I will never do it. That's why it seems so, for many people, it seems like, oh my God, you're so brave. They, they keep on telling me, you're just different. I said, no, I'm not different. I just don't want to live with the pain of regret because I've been there. I felt this for a very long time in my life. That's why you always see me changing and, and moving and, 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 and being everywhere and doing this and doing that because I've been like this. I've been in a closed shelf and I don't want to do this anymore. Plus, if you close yourself and being like this, it's hard for you to open up and enjoy. So the more good energy you bring, the better life is coming at you. And that's what I want for you. So if you've heard me saying Operation Black Side, if you've never heard me saying, and you want to know what it is, you got to check their YouTube. Operation Black Side is for entrepreneurs. We talk about learning self-defense, learning about guns, learning about uh, all different things that will help you as an entrepreneur. Plus, you connect to incredible people, people that are elevated, people that do amazing things, people that will help you along the way as well. Because in life, connections are important. They are, because that's the essence of our existence when we knew one another, right? And that's where life becomes better, That where life becomes more interesting. That's when you have these deeper conversations. So we did the Operation Black Side, and we keep on doing this thing pretty often. Every few weeks, there is an Operation Black Side, so you can sign up, you can get ready now for the upcoming one. And I tell you, I am so grateful for Operation Black Side. And the reason for it is because I was always afraid of guns. 
I never grew up around guns. I never knew anything about self-defense. I never step into a, a room that it's mostly majority are men that uh, we're talking about, you know, operating gun. I mean, me growing up in communist country, talking about guns was forbidden. Nowadays, it's a little changed. But I grew up in a small family. I didn't have a father. My only male figure was my grandpa. Grandpa never had anything to do with guns. We never talk about guns. So me going into Operation Black Side and actually being in the trenches and learning from literally how to hold a gun, how to shoot a gun and all the other things, it was just incredible. It was something that gave me a great foundation that pushed me to do the next thing. But before we get to this, when we do these things, right? You probably choose maybe a great excursions, a great trips. Um, you know, maybe you do hard things like I do. Maybe you go climb a mountain or maybe you move to another country. Maybe you start speaking on stages or you connected with people that really escalate you, elevate you and push you to different levels of you. But what's happened after? Like, do you have a time for reflection? Do you have a time to, to really sit down with your own self and write down the lessons that brought this experience brought you? Because here is the thing, guys. In today's world, we do, we, we, we search for these stimulating things. That's why people hit you look for dopamine, like when they go and look for Instagram, like, oh, the amount of likes, oh, the amount of this, oh, people follow me. You hit, you feel that dopamine effect, right? That feeling good. So you do these experiences, maybe. You search for these things. You search for feeling great, that dopamine hit. But what do you do after? And I'm asking you this because otherwise it becomes the next thing the next challenging things that you do, you keep on going and searching. You keep on constantly uh, stimulating yourself without really pausing and thinking, okay, what have I just learned here about myself, about others, how I was interacting with people? Did I really enjoy this process or maybe I did not? And why is like that? Can I continue? Can I learn more about this? Or am I going to stop and why? Those questions are so important. And that's what I was reflecting on. And because I was reflecting on, because I sat down with my own self, because I had the moment of quiet. And that's where the thought starts coming into fruition, when everything starts falling into the right place, when you actually have a quiet moment. Not constantly when you are in go, go, go mode and feel pressure. That's when I start thinking, I'm like, I am so grateful for this place because I would have never been where I am with the knowledge that I have, with me being with my kids in the trenches, doing the kill house, learning about guns, feeling, feeling really confident if I haven't done this. Not only that, because obviously I go and I show up, but what do I do in between those lessons? What do I do with my husband? What do I do with my kids? How do we continue? Because one thing is when you actually go and learn something, the hardest pe for people is to continue. And you probably know this. Let's put it this way. You start a new program. Maybe you want to lose weight, right? You go into a program, you hire a coach, you start doing this stuff. You learn a little bit. Or maybe you don't, maybe you are, you are on a trial. Let's put it 40 day challenge, like I did for my women. 40 day habit challenge. And then you learn something. You've been exposed to things. You, 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 you've realized that, oh, this, is, this, this requires a challenge for me. This is challenging. I need to do more of this. Or, or it points out things that you've never done before. And then out of nowhere, challenge is over. And you're like, okay, I'm done. I'm not going to continue. The hardest for people is to continue. And the reason for it is because, are you going to finish for me? Because of what? Because it requires change. Yeah, change. Meaning, 
you do these things, you start these things. But in the long run, like, they, you know, working out and, and going on a diet is not even a diet because I don't believe in diet. I believe in lifestyle choices and lifestyle change that it's constantly like this. That's why you never see me being out of shape. You, you, because I constantly work on it. I'm constantly there. I'm constantly doing it. So it's not like I've ever been an overweight freak. And then I lost the weight and you see my beautiful story from being freaking heavy to fit. No, I don't have that story. I gained 10 pounds when I first came to America. That was it. But that wasn't involved in the fitness like this. But I always was thin. I was always taking care of myself. But you're starting the program, right? You start doing something. And you're eating healthy for a while. And then you go on vacation. You're being thrown off the regimen, the consistency, the discipline, and it's hard for you to continue. You out of nowhere stop. It's hard for you to go back to the gym. It's hard for you to prepare lunch. You're distracted. You've been thrown off because the bad habits showed up, right? It's hard for you because it requires, again, a change. People don't like change. We, we love the, the same, right? But in order for you to change. The, the change is actually required. Because when you think about it, that when you, when you, when you wanted to change, why would you want it to change? Like, think like this, like, what would, how do you feel when you want to change? Why people change in general? They either, number one, they hurt enough that they have to, they learned enough that they want to. Or number three is that they receive enough that are able to. Like think about it. Somebody gives you a book. Somebody gives you a 55 free workouts with the infinite freak fitness formula. Somebody is giving you that awesome freak female alliance online journal and planner for free. You receive it. You are able to read you are able to change. You are able to follow through. It just requires an action from you. You are able to. But what about if you are so uncomfortable, you huffing and puffing, maybe you have a, you know, you got to the point that you can play with your kids. You are so overweight. You're so uncomfortable. You feel ashamed to put a swimsuit on. You don't want to go to the beach. You don't want to put a tight dress. You don't want to go anywhere. You're hurting. But avoidance is the solution. Uh-uh, wrong. If I have that thing that my, uh, the Breaking the Cycle podcast is doing, they have all kinds of different noises. I should have something. Let me see what I have here. I used to have that little bell, but I don't. Uh, so you're hurting. And you need to feel the hurt enough so you can change. But sometimes people just numb the pain for years, numb the pain how they feel. And they start re living not in reality. Think about addictions. Like what happens with when people have an addiction? Right? They create this unreal life so they are okay not to change. So it has to be painful enough for you to change. How painful is it? In which areas of your life are you really struggling right now? Is it your, 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 your physical health? Is it your mental? Is it, you know, financial? Are those relationship? So now it's the time to change. Now is the time to do something. But in order for you to change, you got to experience this. Is there anyone that is giving you something right now that is inspiring you? Or maybe you're learning through them good enough so you can continue or you can sign up for the next course. You can continue with the next course or you need to move your money and invest your money so you can change. But we got to eliminate the scarcity mindset. We can't be afraid because if you mix into the recipe being afraid, that the recipe is not going to come out good enough. So we got to just go for it. And you remember me saying this, it's like, I feel 
like we live in those different, there are different levels of energy throughout our lives. We are like surrounded by it. And I think if you get into a negative level, you constantly negative, negative, you bring the negative energy. People don't want to be around you. People don't want to talk to you. People just like don't want to be near you. They don't. Because you get into a tunnel with that negative energy. So I think we have all these, if somebody would put like a little special lighting that would discover this different level of energy, I think that's what we would discover. I think these different zones around us. Because how do you feel when you do good, right? When you when you work out, you feel great. When you eat good, you feel great. When you exercise, you feel great. When you go and speak on stages, you feel great because you're inspiring other people. When you do good to others, you feel great. When you help your kids, you feel great. When you help as a parent, you feel great. You When you make your dinner, good dinner, you feel great. It's service, it's doing, right? So you gotta get out there and do it. You gotta continue. But you need to want so bad so you can change, guys. And that's what I did. I actually didn't, my my point of the change that I start studying, uh, you know, guns and, and, and really dive in, I really loved it. It's almost like I, I did not know that I'm going to love it until I tried it. But in the beginning, I felt very hesitant. I felt very unsure. I felt like my, a lot of my energy was spared into learning, into being concentrated on these little tedious things and tasks. But there was something in me that felt that empowerment. I'm like, this feels good. I love that. And this is when I start continuously putting myself into it, investing, learning, getting to know more, getting, getting my knowledge, because I received enough from Operation Black Side that I could start to the process. But in between these sessions, we need to do something on our own. And that's the beauty. And that's when your ownership comes to place, because you need to take your, your own, the ownership in your hands and do this. So we're in life. You, you, you started something, but you didn't continue. Why you didn't continue? What happened? What did you tell yourself? Because a lot of times it's like we tell ourselves different things. Oh, you're not worthy. You don't have money. You need to ask for permission. All these different things that overall, they really are only obstacles in your way. They only, instead of growing, instead of having that growth set mindset, instead of allowing you to level up and achieve next level, it's actually changing you and going the opposite direction. So guys, I really want you today to take some time. And first of all, if you experienced something, if you went through something, anything, just write it down. What are your things, reflections, lessons? Who can you share with? Who can you talk uh, talk about? You know, circle of your friends that you can share with. And so it's not becoming the next thing on your thing, on your list. Oh, I achieved this. Let me go and do this. Like sit with this, like feel it. What did you learn? And then ask yourself, okay, can I continue? Can I go and explore on the topic a little more? Can I dive deeper? Can I do more? Because the bottom line is that the superhero is within you. You just need to rediscover it, guys. May your passion and curiosity be endless. May your enthusiasm be infectious and your glow shine through the projects of, of others because each of us makes the difference in the universe. I make mine and the universe is awaiting you. So guys, thank you again for watching, liking, sharing, making comments, and most importantly, subscribing to my channel. I always say, you know, like and share and subscribe for my channel because it seems like the YouTube is booming. So yes, we are on a Spotify. I am on a Spotify, 
but it seems like my channel is the YouTube channel. So I'm like looking at you. I'm with you here. We are like discussing these things. I want you to make some comments because we're going to respond to them. And if you want to chat with me, email me. I want to hear from you. I wanted to know what struggles you had. I want to know what lessons you have. It's important to, for me to know because it might give me a next topic to my episode. So again, guys, thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you so much, guys, and no excuses.